Hey guys, long time no see. Um, oh, there's quite a few things. Um, I have the watch that I'm gonna be reviewing, so I'm gonna open it with you guys, review it, and I'm gonna be posting a link to the sweepstakes for you guys to enter into for a chance to win. Um, I'll have all the details in the clickable link in the description below. So if you wanted to enter for a chance to win, go ahead and get on that. Um, it's a really cool opportunity. Basically, this is like a savings of... Uh, <laughs> it's a savings of the watch, I believe, goes for like 125 to 150 and it's super sleek, elegant, um, just a really nice watch. And Mom, can I have a from the so, anyways, it's just a beautiful piece. Um, and I'm very honored to be able to be a part of it. So, yeah, here we go. So the watch is kind of different than the one that I was expecting, honestly. Um, it's heavy and larger than it looked online. That being said, I love it. It is so pretty. So you can see all the way into the center of the components of it. And I don't know if you can see, but the minute and hour hands are get turquoise against like a rose gold and silver. I don't know. It's very pretty. It's super pretty. Love it. So the box that it comes in is like a special type of box that like protects the wood and all of that um, over time. So it's just a nice little compartment. It's um, breathable, just made like really elegantly and nice. Um, Next to again. Where? Next to you. So the box is made super nice, it has a cute little pillow that the watch came on for looks obviously, but it's still very cute. It comes with extra um, length or chain parts, just very it's a very cool thing to be a part of. So thank you, Yord, for contacting me and letting me have the opportunity to share this with people and to be able to wear such a beautiful piece. I get compliments all the time on my other watch and now I have a new one to add, so love it. Um, but yeah. So in other news, um, Kobe is a low-key freaking monster. Um, we call him the shark. He is teething really bad, so a lot of chewing on everything. And potty training has been kind of a bust because he kind of just goes to the bathroom whenever, wherever. Um, but besides that, he's adorable. We did get his ears cropped. I think it's been a week now. Kobe. Kobe. 
Mm -hmm. Cubby is your star, a typical puppy. Yeah. He chews on everything, grabs shoes the moment he can get his mouth on one and he will run. He kind of just bulldozes into anything and everything. Um, he's super adorable, super cute, very hyper. Him and Hal have been not getting along so well because Hal doesn't really know how to interact with him. So that's been difficult. Kobe wants to play with him and be all over him. And Hal is just not interested in that. So it's been difficult. Okay, I swear while vlogging this is going to be happening every five seconds here. Potty breaks. Hi, Kobe. Kobe. Hey, baby. So, I'm going to be straightening up. Tomorrow is my sister Kiana's birthday. So I think they'll be coming over for dinner. So I just want to have the house kind of tidy it up. Or at least try to start tidying it up. Um, and then Tuesday, the next day, my mother-in-law will be coming to visit us for like almost two weeks. So just want to try to get some traction on this house getting cleaned up. I also got my results back from my DNA 23andMe that I did, so I'll share those with you guys a little bit later. Um, what else? I don't even know what else. I have a lot of cleaning today though, so.
I am sweating so bad. Hardy. Um, I like to wear these slipper socks because I don't like how it feels to walk on the wet floor and my feet getting dirty, but now I'm really hot, so <laughs> we'll see how long this lasts. Um, I just had to add, I have been mopping and cleaning these floors even more so since we got the puppy and it looks like this is just what it is with a dog because Hal is not dirty at all and we didn't have to worry about this. along with or should I say having white walls and kids comes along with a lot of smudge marks and it's been bugging me so let's see if I can make some damage. A rule that I grew up with was clean from up to down so I obviously started with the floors I felt like that was more imperative oh and side note of course while I had just finished mopping um, I had Juno outside with Kobe to keep him out of the way so I was done the floors dried had her let him in and right away goes to pee not even without thinking one second just came in and peed Anyways, that's fun. Here is my ancestry report and I just wanted to show you guys it is mainly European um, British and Irish it's like the most predominant and then let's see Puerto Rican it's a tiny percent and then check this out, 7% African, woo woo. Um, but yeah, most of it 
is like Iberian, which is like Spain and Portugal, and then British and Irish um, from the most recent past. French and German, Eastern European, so I'm very white. That's okay. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to show you guys. It's pretty cool. The way that they do it, it's very easy to understand. And um, I don't know. I just, I am very surprised that it's not more um, of a mix from like, I don't know, Native American or anything else is so much, just 83.4% white or Caucasian. So, yeah, pretty cool. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to end my vlog here and get to editing. It's kind of what I'm doing right now. Um, so I can post it. So make sure you guys go on to my site. I'm going to add in for the watch. Um, let's see. Yeah. Nope. That's not it. I'm going to try to see if I can bring up the website for you guys. Um, doo, 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 doo. Yeah, so these watches are beautiful, just super nice looking, great pieces to have. So, excuse me. Um, but yeah, so enter my sweepstakes. Oh, this person just wants to talk. Um, and then you guys can have a chance to win one of these with a very small amount that you would pay. I believe it's like five. I'll have to look into the thing actually and see. But yeah. You guys check it out um make sure if you're new you hit that subscribe button